Hi, welcome back to my channel Pi by Me Maths. This is by Juvasudevan. Here we are solving June 2022 Pure Math 2 paper. In the previous two videos, we have covered question number 1 to 7. Let's look at question number 8. We have a function given y. We need to find dy by dx. Just differentiate it. dy over dx is 256. x power 4 becomes 4x cubed. 304x becomes 304, 35 becomes 0 plus 27. This is basically 27x power minus 2. So it becomes minus 2x power minus 2 minus 1. So when you simplify this, 256 times 4, which is 1024, 1024x cubed minus 304, 27 times minus 2 minus 54, put the x cube as a positive x cube in the denominator, that's all. It's easy 3 mark if you know differentiation. Let's go to part B of the question, hence find the coordinates of the stationary point. To find the coordinates of the stationary point, you need to put dy by dx is equal to 0. So 1024x cubed minus 304 minus 54 over x cubed is 0. Multiply through it by x cubed. 1024x power 6. 304x cubed minus 54 is 0. If you take p as x cubed, p square will be x power 6 so this can be reduced to a quadratic actually 1024p square minus 304p minus 54 is 0 I'm going to use my calculator to solve it 1024 minus 304 minus 54 you get 27 over 64 on minus 1 over 8 P is 27 over 64. P is minus 1 over 8. You need to write one more step. 64P minus 27 times 8P plus 1 is 0. Maybe you can divide through it by 2. You will get 512P square minus 152P minus 27 is 0. So we got the two p values and then replace p back to x cube. So you will get x cube is 27 over 64. x will be cube root of this which is 3 over 4. Here x cube is minus 1 over 8. x is cube root of minus 1 over 8 is minus 1 over 2. Two values. You got two values. They want the coordinates of the point. So you need to find the y coordinate as well. So you need to take these x coordinates and then submit them into the original function to find the y coordinate. So take the function 256x power 4 when x is 3 over 4 y is 256x power 4 minus 304x and then uh, minus 35 minus 35 plus 27 over x square so we need to carefully calculate this value so i'm gonna put it in my calculator 256 sorry 256 times 2 over 4 should be 3 over 4 here not 2 over 4 3 over 4 to the power 4 which is 81 minus 304 times 3 over 4 which is 228 minus 35 plus this is 127 times I'm going to put the reciprocal of it or you can just put it as divide divided by 3 over 4 square you get 48 so basically 81 minus 228 minus 35 plus 48 
you get minus 134 so minus 134 that's the first point 3 over 4 comma minus 134 and then you need to do the same with the second point now minus half so when you sub in minus half this is minus half power 4 minus half here minus half square so let me calculate this I'll try to put everything in a single shot and see what's happening 256 times 2 power 4 is 16 so I can just put it as 1 over 16 plus half of it which is 152 minus 35 that's 133 and then this is 1 over 4 so 27 times 4 plus 27 times 4 you get 241 that's the second point minus half comma 241 that's all question number 9 now part a they want us to sketch the exponential function n is equal to k lambda power t usually the function is this a power x this is x and y the a has to be bigger than 1 if a is smaller than 1 but still positive this will be the graph so you have to read the question carefully here a is lambda you have n is equal to k times lambda power t the value of lambda is between 0 to 1 so we will get this graph actually okay is there anything else given so we have to draw two axes this will be t origin and don't put x and y and the graph will be this this is n is equal to lambda power t if you multiply it by k here the y coordinate is 1 but when you multiply by k all the y coordinates will be multiplied by k so you need to mention this as 0 comma k this is the graph so two more question let's move on to part b of the question given that it takes 5700 years for the amount of carbon 14 to reduce to half of its initial value show that the value of the constant lambda is this okay here you need to find the initial value first we have n is equal to k lambda power t if you replace t by 0 the initial value is k in fact here in this graph when they say sketch the graph um, n comes t t is the number of years since the item was made you don't need to mention this uh, part actually because the time the year starts from zero so I would say the proper way to draw it is without showing this piece so you have to start from zero actually so when you replace t by zero the initial value is k so in 5700 years the carbon 14 reduced to amount of carbon 14 we need to read the question carefully n is the amount of carbon 14 k grams was the initial amount t is the number of years right so in 5400 years so we need to replace uh, lambda by t by 5400 k times lambda power 5000 sorry 700 this is the number of uh, the amount of carbon 14 in 5400 years but it says it's reduced to half its initial value so this will be equal to half of k that gives us lambda power 5700 is 1 over 2 so we need to find lambda lambda is going to be 1 over 2 which is 0.5 to the power 1 over 5700 0.5 to the power 1 over 5700 they want the answer to 6 decimal place triple nine eight seven eight lambda is 0 0.99878 
Let's look at part C of the question. Given that item A is known to have 15 grams of carbon-14 initially, so you can write N is equal to 15 times lambda power T, is thought to be 3250 years old, you can replace T by this value. Calculate to three significant figure how much carbon-14 the equation predicts is currently in item A. So you need to use the value of lambda from the previous part. So n is 15 times 0 0.99878 to the power 3250. So 15 times 0 0.99878 to the power 3250. So you get 10 point, they want the answer to three significant figure, three significant figure. So it's 10.1, 10 10.1, point one. Ten point one, you need to look at the unit here in the question, N is given as grams. So 10.1 grams. Now the next part. Now they are talking about another item is known to have initially 25 grams carbon-14. So N is 25 times lambda power T. But only 18 grams now remain. They want you to calculate the age of the item. So you need to replace N by 18 now. So lambda power T is 18 over 25. You need to use the value of lambda, so t will be log 18 over 25 to the base lambda, which is equal to log to the base 0 0.99878, 18 over 25 to the nearest, okay, 2692. 2692.49 etc. They want you to round the answer to the nearest hundred. Nearest hundred. So 2700 years old. That's all. Look at the question number 10 now. A circle has center 3 comma 5 radius r. You can write the equation of the circle as x minus 3 whole square plus y minus 5 whole square is equal to r square. You have an equation show that they both intersect when this. That means you need to combine them. You can write it as x minus 3 whole square replace y by 2x plus k, 2x plus k minus 5 whole square, put the r square this side is 0. You just need to open the bracket and simplify the like terms, you will get this answer. So it's x square minus 6x plus 9. Here I'm going to take 2x plus k as a. So we have a minus b, it's a square minus 2ab plus b square minus r square is 0. Hope you understand this. It's x square minus 6x plus 9. Expand this again. a plus b whole square. a square plus 2ab plus b square. 2 times 5, 10. Open the bracket. You will get 20x plus 10k. Sorry, it's minus 10. So minus 20x minus 10k plus 25 minus r square is 0. We need to simplify the like terms now x square plus 4x square which is 5x square and then minus 6 minus 20 minus 26 plus this take x as a common factor you'll get 4k minus 26 times x and then 9 plus 25 is 34k square minus 10k minus r square plus k square minus 10k plus 34 minus r square is 0. That's the required answer. That's all. Part A is over. Let's move on to part B. Now they are saying L is tangent to the circle. If they are tangent, b square minus 4ac should be equal to 0. 
So we need to take A, B, C from the equation. A is 5, B is 4K minus 26, C is this whole thing. So B square, 4K minus 26 whole square minus 4AC, C is K square minus 10k plus 34 minus 10k plus 34 minus r square is 0. Simplify and write it in this format. Okay, let's open the bracket. a square which is 16k square minus 2ab 2 times 4 times 26 which is minus 208k plus 26 square b square 26 square is 676 4 fives are 20 multiply throughout by minus 20 minus 20 k square plus 200 k 68 so minus 680 plus 20 r square is 0 now we need to simplify the like terms again so we have 16 36 sorry these two are not like terms 16 minus 20 we have minus 4k square and then minus 208 plus 200 you get minus 8k 676 minus 680 which is minus 4 plus 20 r square is 0 Multiply it throughout by negative, divide throughout by negative 4. K square plus 2K plus 1 minus 5 R square is 0. This is uh, basically K plus 1 whole square. Bring the 5 R square to the other side. We proved this already where P is equal to 1. Let's look at part C. It's a 6 mark question. We have a diagram given. AB is given as 2R. We know the radius is perpendicular to the tangent. This is perpendicular. This is radius R. And we can see a right angle triangle. We have the equation of the line given here. 2x plus k. The line is y is equal to 2x plus k. That gives us the point y intercept of the line is k. So you can apply Pythagoras theorem. CA is the hypotenuse. CA square is equal to AB square plus BC square. AB is given as 2R. So first CA, the distance between C and A is X2 minus X1 whole square plus Y2 minus Y1 whole square is equal to AB square plus BC square. You expand this you'll get 9 3 square is 9 plus 5 minus k whole square is equal to 5 or square so what we are going to do we are going to expand this we are going to replace 5 or square from the previous part 5 or square is this k plus 1 whole square so we will get 9 plus 5 minus k whole square is equal to k plus 1 whole square. Expand and simplify, you get the value of k. 9 plus a square minus 2ab plus b square is a square plus 2ab plus b square. Cancel this. Move the numbers this side. 9 plus 25 is 34 minus 1 is equal to 2k plus 10k which is 12k so k is 33 over 12 which is 11 over 4 is the answer that's the answer it's a six mark question